I should probably make that 5,000 subscriber special. I wonder how many subscribers I have now. 7,393. Yeah. Hmm. Let's fix that. Do you have any animals? I don't have any animals, but I do have a plant named Grover. He's a Diefenbachia. Are you a fan of any games? I've played a lot of games in the past. If you're thinking in terms of video games, off the top of my head, I'm a big fan of the Jackbox Party Pack, Kerbal Space Program, Subnautica, and Undertale. If you're thinking about board games, though, I'll have to go with Sushi Go Party, Monikers, Cards Against Humanity, and oh my god, I can't remember the rest because my board game collection is too big. Long story short, I really like playing games, but I don't often find time to play them nowadays. Can you tell us more about the different styles of Glaze's voices? For example, Heartmender, Prototype VIP, and etc. Honestly, it depends on the song, and there's a lot of variation there. Most vocal effects that people are familiar with are just variations on the wooden toaster one that pe that I demoed a while back. It's just different pitches used to create the, the layered copies. So in the case of wooden toaster, it's root fifth octave. In the case of Beyond Her Garden, it's octaves. In the case of Heartmender, it's like thirds and fifths and roots creating a harmony. In Prototype, all bets are off. He uses like seven different effects. I might do a tutorial on that one at some point, but I don't know, we'll see. And then in the case of Rainbow Factory, it's the layered Melodyne copies, but it's all routed through a plugin called Bitspeak. I'll probably be doing a tutorial on Bitspeak in the near future. What musical project that you are currently planning or working on are you most excited about? That's a great question. <sighs> I'm particularly excited to work on projects involving my baritone guitar. I also have a plan for six EDM songs pertaining to my little pony, May 6. I'm also working on my first ever rap song which will hopefully be out soon. I've never rapped before. This is going to be interesting. Are you planning to make actual camera shot music videos in the near future? And if so, what specifically are those plans? Well, you should know, cause I'm making a project with you. But otherwise, I am working on songs with this too. Outside of that, I have plans to realize a lot of songs that I've made in the past, but now can really go to town and- Okay, I'm getting tired of this. Long story short, I am- I'm gonna make music videos of stuff of songs I made before. Yeah. <laughs> How would you describe your day-to-day -day life? Like, is it usually pretty consistent or really jumpy? So this question- kind of speaks to why my schedule has been kind of messy in the past. It's because I work a full-time job. I have a nine to five gig, Monday through Friday every week. And I have to do that to be able to keep the lights on and stay in this apartment. That's all in addition to like the rigors of everyday life, like bills and going shopping and cleaning up the house and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not trying to sound like I'm whining or anything, but that gives you sort of a, a more complete picture of what I do in addition to writing music and creating videos. So all of those things require time. And up until very recently, I didn't have a good grasp on how to manage that time. But I have a better plan going forward. I'm looking into things like batch creation of videos. I am purposely blocking off time on my schedule specifically for making videos and for making music. I'm working on building out a video backlog. It's hopefully going to make things easier. And as I get more practice with it, things will get smoother and faster and require less work. I'm hopefully going to be able to give you guys better quality content going forward on a more consistent basis. That just sort of gives you an idea of why it hasn't been up until recently. Who is your favorite brony musician that is still active in the fandom? 
Probably a lot of the artists that I see at Brony conventions. If I had to pick one, it would probably be Forest Rain, because she is amazing and she's still really active in the fandom. So yeah, awesome stuff. What advice would you have for someone currently going through college for audio and music? Planes going past, so there's that. My biggest suggestion would be networking with everyone you find. The biggest value of music school are the contacts you make. Professors, other musicians, these will be extremely valuable to you once you become a professional musician. These will allow you to book gigs, set up projects, and do other things that a musician needs to do. The other skills are secondary to networking. Bear in mind, I did not go to music school, so take my opinion with a grain of salt. And that's about it for this 5K special that I know is late. But I'm gonna try and be more on top of these things next time. And I have some big plans for the next milestone, which will be 10,000, which is absolutely mind-blowing. The fact that we're even remotely close to that is absolutely astonishing. There are more people who are subscribed to my YouTube channel than there are people who work at my company. To put things in perspective, that's, it's, that's, oh wow. I'm just, I am beyond flabbergasted. I am just eternally thankful for all of your support and your understanding of this admittedly rocky past year. It's been challenging for me trying to stay on top of this YouTube thing in addition to everything else I've mentioned. But I'm learning new strategies, I'm bettering my craft, it should be easier going forward, and I will sort of take baby steps and build up gradually towards my goal of weekly uploads and live streams. Just long story short, this, your support and understanding is immensely appreciated and just thank you for subscribing you guys are amazing you guys are so thoughtful and kind and i'm gushing and i think i'm just gonna wrap it up here so thank you very much for watching and until next time have fun and keep making sound <laughs>